we have been asked to multiply 41 with 13 using lines. We have already seen how this technique works. For the digit 1, we draw one line. For the digit 2, we draw two lines and so on. The first digit of the number 41 is 4. So we draw four lines. And for the second digit 1, we draw one line after leaving some space. For 13, we draw one line for 1 and three lines for 3. Don't forget, in each case, we went from left to right. And the three vertical zones are ready. We start with the zone at the extreme right and count the number of intersections. 1, 2 and 3. Three intersections. Now for the second zone from the right. At the top, we can see that there are 12 intersections and there's one at the bottom. 13 in all. But wait, what do we do when we get two digits under a zone? We simply carry the tens digit over to the column on the left. Yes, that's all. Here, we carry the one over. And now we look at the final zone. There are four intersections. We add the four to the one that was carried over. And that gives us five. That's the answer. 41 times 13 gives us 533. That was so simple. Lines from left to right and count the intersections in each zone. The next problem is a bit tricky. 211 multiplied by 32. We have a three digit number here. Does anything change? Well, not much. The approach is the same, but the number of zones change. Two lines for two, one line for one, and another line for one. This is two, one, one. What about 32? Three lines for three, and two lines for two. How many vertical zones do you see? There's one, two, three, and four. Four vertical zones this time. The process remains unchanged though. We start with a zone at the extreme right. Two intersections, we write a two. Then we move on to the second zone. Two at the top and three at the bottom. Five in all. Now pause the video and try finding the number of intersections in these two zones. This is the third zone. Four intersections at the top and three at the bottom. Seven in all. And this is the fourth zone, which has six intersections. We write a six here and we are done. This is the product. 211 times 32 gives us 6752. By now, you'd be pretty confident of using this technique for multiplication. But sometimes this method may not work. When does it not work? Take the next example for instance. 53 times 36. Wait, don't draw the lines. This is how the figure will look. The black lines for 53 and the red ones for 36. Finding the number of intersections would be very tedious in this case. It gets very messy when any of the digits are 5 or greater. So this method is suited for numbers which have digits lesser than 5. But if we really have to solve such an example using this technique, there is a better way which we will cover in the next part. And look at these two questions. How would you solve these? How would you draw a line for zero? We covered this as well in the next part of the session.